My name is Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm from Canada and I did my residency there in family medicine. I've also practiced addictions medicine and I've mostly practiced emergency medicine or what you call A&E in some countries. I have an interest in international health and I do work in India and a few other places. And on top of that, I have a strong interest in plant-based diet and health. So when I say plant-based diet and health, you can also say vegan diet and health. And I'm here on behalf of Hina Modi and PlantShift.com. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about heart disease next. People may have heard of the China study, okay? Now the actual study that came out of there is a different name, has a more technical name, the China study is the name of the book, but uh, Diet, Lifestyle, and the Etiology of Coronary Artery Disease in the Cornell China Study, American Journal of Cardiology, 1998. So it's an older study, and what they did was they followed about 6,500 people in China for 20 years. So that's an interesting thing about this study. They followed these people for 20 years, not as large a group as the Adventist studies that we're talking about, 6,500, still a good number, and they followed them from about 50 different counties, maybe about like 100 or 120 different villages, and they, they followed these people. So the genetics of these people, there were Chinese people, and the lifestyles in the villages that they had were very similar lifestyle factors between all of them. The only difference was very small increment difference in animal protein. Some villages were pretty much, they almost were vegan, you know, and they had very little animal protein in their diet. And then there's others that had a little bit more, others that had a bit more, and the others had a bit more, and then, you know, and, and so forth until they got to a certain level. And they compared all these people and the amount of heart disease that they had over 20 years. So that's a long time. So it's enough that a lot of these people can get older, older, older and have some disease. And you're going to see which groups may have an advantage over another group. And what they found that the people who had more of a plant-based diet simply had less heart disease and less death from heart disease. Another thing that they found in that particular study is people having less salt and more greens and more vegetables in their diet also had advantages. So lower meat was an advantage, but also more vegetables was an advantage. Somebody may have, two, two villages may have similar meat, but maybe one had more greens and that was advantageous, or they may have similar in other respects and had less meat and that was, you know, less meat was also an advantage too. Now I'm gonna talk about a very classic study. Some of you may have heard of Dr. Dean Ornish. Okay, so Dr. Dean Ornish is very famous for an article that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 1990. And what he had was 58 subjects, okay, 58 people who were sort of older people who had a lot of heart disease. They had very severe angina and heart disease, but they were for some reason not opting to get surgery, not opting to, or maybe not eligible for surgery at that point, but they had angiograms. All the angiograms, what they do is they put a, a wire into your artery, feed it up to your heart, put dye into the arteries of your heart, and take pictures and they can see a picture of the outline of the coronary arteries. That's what we do to this day to diagnose coronary artery disease. It's one of the, one of the best ways anyways. So they took pictures of these people's coronary artery disease. He took 28 of those people and he put them on a, a total vegan diet, not just any kind of vegan diet, but a very specific kind of one that was low fat. So very low fat, he, almost no fat in the diet whole foods, so they wouldn't eat things like uh, potato chips or they wouldn't have uh, white bread, you'd have whole grain bread, okay? So it would be low fat, but it would be whole grain. You'd eat beans, you'd eat, uh, you know, if you had pasta, it would be like a whole grain pasta and so forth, right? Not fruit juices, but you'd eat the fruit. So it was whole foods as much as possible. Low fat, whole food, plant-based diet. He also got them onto a meditation program, some yoga, exercise, and so forth. The other group, the other 20 people, he had them just follow the standard American, uh, you know, the, what the cardiologists say in America, if you've got heart disease, you know, go on to the American Heart Association step one or step two diet, which is less than 30% of your calories by fat. And they were given instructions to follow that as best as possible, just like what normal people would, but not be vegetarian or anything like that. These people were followed for a year and then they did repeat angiograms on the entire population. What they found was that in the repeat angiograms, about 80% of the people in the study group, that means the ones that were vegan and so forth, they had regression, they had reversal of their heart disease on the angiogram. The other guys, in most cases, got worse. Now, up until this point, it was not known that you could ever reverse heart disease. Heart disease, when you get the buildup of 
you know, cholesterol plaque in your coronary artery. It's not like it's just a bit of fat stuck on there that can dissolve. It's stuff that goes into the wall of the artery, crystallizes, gets organized. There's various types of cells and everything that also build up in there and builds up this plaque, which they thought was irreversible. So it's the first time we ever found out that heart disease could be reversed to a certain extent. It was not through any drugs, but it was through diet alone and it was a vegan diet that did it. And so these people, you know, have very good outcomes. And there were some other things about these group of people. They got some less cancers, they had less erectile difficulties, they had, you know, improvements in many senses. But the main thing was their heart disease actually reversed. And this was something that was thought impossible. Um, now, however, these guys weren't just uh, vegan and low fat. They were also doing yoga and doing exercise. Could that have been the key difference. They had stress reduction, etc. as well. So Caldwell Esselstyn is uh, another uh, physician who tried a similar experiment. He had 200 people and he saw these people with, uh, he had these people with these severe heart disease and basically he put them on a low fat, whole food, plant-based diet. But there was no additional instructions for yoga, stress reduction, exercise or anything like that. Everything else was as it was. These 200 people, now out of that group, there was 20 or 28 or some of these people who eventually didn't follow it. They didn't stick with the diet. And he followed these people over um, maybe about three or four years. And in the group that stuck with the diet, they only had like almost just, you know, less than one out of 100 people or one, one out of 150 people, something like 0.6% of them had something happen to them where they had to get an angiogram or they got a heart attack or something like that. So just one or two people actually had something bad happen. In the group of people that didn't stick with the diet and went back to eating just regular foods, maybe they were a bit better because they were trained to be plant-based, um, they had, uh, you know, they had 60% of them, there was a few, few of them that died of a heart attack, some, of them, some others that had heart attacks and didn't die, and some others that their angina, their heart symptoms got worse and they had to have surgery or an angiogram or something like that. So a drastic, drastic difference in over a short few years between the two groups. And so this is not something that we think or we know could be achieved through any kind of vegan diet, but specifically a, a whole food, low fat, plant-based diet is something that could be used to potentially reverse heart disease if somebody is suffering from that, okay? Remarkable, remarkable study, very powerful. So the references for every single video that I have are gonna be downloaded, downloadable from the description box where you can click and download the entire set of references and then just scroll down to the relevant references. If it's a video on diabetes or cancer or something like that, scroll down to the relevant section and take a look at the references that I'm speaking about. In my videos, I'll generally discuss one reference, but it's gonna to take too long to discuss 10 references and you'll be bored out of your mind. Um, so I'll discuss one and then you can go into the reference list and look at more references that are talking about the same topic. And it's important not just to have one reference, but to have multiple references that discuss a topic because then you're seeing that different studies are being done in different places by different people and they're getting similar results that are reinforcing each other. Okay, so that's another good thing to look at.